This is part two of a tutorial showing how to make a physics simulation application using the Blender game engine. Change the scene to the head up display scene. The next thing I'm going to do is highlight the up arrow when the mouse pointer hovers over it. To do that I'm going to use an edit object actuator in replace mesh mode. Now if I click the data properties of the up arrow, I renamed it up force, but if I click the object data properties, the underlying mesh is still called plane.001. I'm going to rename that up normal. To duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter. Drag on the tip of the red arrow to move the duplicate. I'm going to name the underlying mesh for the duplicate up highlight. Click the material button. I am going to call the material magenta. Click the add new material button to link the duplicate to a different material. I'm going to call the new material light magenta. Scroll down, put the intensity up to full, click on the diffuse color, put the red up to full, the blue up to full, and set the green to 0.5. We're going to replace the normal up arrow mesh with the highlighted up arrow. When one mesh is replaced by another, they must be in different layers. In the object menu, go to move to layer and move the duplicate to a different layer. If I go to that layer, there is the duplicate. We don't need any logic bricks attached to the duplicate, only to the original up arrow. Go back to the original layer and select the original up arrow. Add an AND controller. When the mouse goes over the up arrow, we want to replace the mesh with the highlight mesh. But that's not all we have to do. When the mouse moves off the pointer, we want the mesh to revert back to the normal mesh. When the mouse moves off the pointer, the mouse over sensor sends a false signal. We can turn that into a true signal with a NAND controller, but we need another edit object actuator. Scroll down, shift and mouse wheel. Set the mode to replace mesh. Connect that up, and when the mouse moves off the pointer, we want to replace the mesh with the normal mesh. To make the down arrow, I'm going to duplicate the up arrow. Hold down shift, press D and enter. Press R to rotate, 180 and enter. Drag on the tip of the green arrow to move the down arrow down. Click the object properties button. Change the name of the down arrow to down force. Now we don't have to change the underlying meshes because the higher level object is rotated through 180 degrees. The lower level meshes will automatically be rotated. Hold down shift and mouse wheel to scroll up. We do need to change the message that's broadcast. I'm going to change that to downforce. Highlight the subject of the message and press Ctrl and C to copy it. Select the force text, add a message sensor, and paste in the subject of the message to listen for. Add a property actuator, and change the mode to add, the property to text, and this time we'll add minus one, and connect that up. That will change the display. To change the force that's applied, we need to go back to the original scene, select the cube, 
I'm going to give this logic brick a meaningful name, up force, and close it up. Add a message sensor, and I can paste in the message, control V, down force, add a Python controller, and connect those up. Highlight the UpForce script and press Ctrl and C to copy it. Click the Add New Text button and Ctrl and V to paste. Call the new script downforce.py and connect the Python controller to it. Don't forget to change the operator to minus equals so that the force goes down when the downforce message is received. I'm going to go back to the head up display and set up the mass. I'm going to duplicate the force text, hold down shift, D and enter and drag on the tip of the red arrow to move that across. Change the name of the text object to text mass and change the subjects of the messages it responds to to up mass and down mass. Select the up arrow and duplicate shift D and enter. Drag on the tip of the red arrow to move that across. Rename it up mass and change the subject of the message sent when it is clicked to up mass. Jumping ahead, I've duplicated the down arrow, I've renamed it and changed the subject of the message. Going back to the original scene, I've given this logic brick a meaningful name, I'm going to close it up and I'm going to close up the motion actuator. I'm going to add a message sensor and a Python controller. Shift and mouse wheel to scroll down. Change the subject of the message to be sensed to up mass and connect the sensor to the Python controller. Change the script to the up force script which is already highlighted right click and copy. Drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar, click the plus to add a new text block, right click and paste. Name the script upmass.py. Now we're not going to connect to the motion actuator so we don't need that line or this line. We're not going to use a gain property. All rigid bodies have a property mass. I've jumped ahead and added another message sensor, another Python controller, and created another text block. I've copied and pasted the up mass script in. Now all I have to do is change the plus equals to a minus equals and connect the script to the Python controller. Change the scene to the head up display scene. I forgot to set the initial value of the mass. Go into edit mode and change that to one and back into object mode. For the material linked to the static text to render properly in the game engine, I found I had to convert it to mesh. Select the static text in the object menu convert to mesh. Obviously we can't do that for the dynamic text. I have jumped ahead to the finished application. I added a new scene by making a full copy of the head up display scene and I renamed the new scene the start scene. At the top I've got the formula force equals mass multiplied by acceleration. I've rearranged the formula because we vary the force and the mass and see the resultant acceleration. 
I've put instructions how to vary the force and the mass, how to apply the force. I've got press spacebar to reset. I'll go over the logic bricks that do that in a minute. First of all, I've attached these logic bricks to an object in the scene. This keyboard sensor senses any key and sends a signal through to a scene actuator that will set the scene to the main scene. I have added logic bricks to the empty object. A keyboard sensor that will sense the spacebar, send a signal through to a scene actuator that will restart the scene. But we also need to restart the head up display scene, so I have added a message actuator that will broadcast a message, the subject of which is restart HUD. I needed to add logic bricks to any object in the head up display scene a message sensor to sense the message restart HUD to send a signal through to a scene actuator to restart the scene. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.